when you buy a GoPro and you turn it on for the first time, what you notice is that the sharpening settings or the detail as it's sometimes known in some cameras is set to medium. People like myself, on the other hand, regard this as too high and we prefer to have it set to low. There's a few reasons for this. Um, the first is that personally, I prefer the smoother, creamier, more film-like look of having no digital edge enhancement added to the picture. Things look a little bit too digital for me uh, when cameras have digital edge enhancement turned on in camera. But there's also a more practical reason why people like myself suggest putting the GoPro into a low setting. What you have to understand is that when the camera adds detail, it's not adding real detail. It's an effect. What the camera is actually doing is it's effectively drawing outlines around objects. It's a bit like a cartoon drawing, really. It's much more subtle than that, and there is much more to it than that. But in a nutshell, that's effectively what it's doing. So it's not actual real detail or real sharpness. And that has a profound effect on what happens with your compression and the recording system of the camera. Now a GoPro, even if you set the camera to the high bitrate setting, is only recording 100 megabits per second. Now in a 5.3K image, that's quite a big ask, even though it's using H.265 compression. And as such, you need to be making as much of that compression system as you possibly can. You need to be giving it the cleanest image you possibly can. You don't want that precious bandwidth wasted on artificial or fake detail, as it were, that is added in by a digital edge enhancement system, as you would get when the camera is set to medium or the high sharpness setting. So how much effect does it have on the image? Well, I have a screen grab here um, taken with a GoPro Hero 10 with the sharpness set to low. Now I'm going to use JPEG as um, an example in this. Now you might say, well, JPEG's different to HEVC or H.265. Actually, they're not that dissimilar. They work in a very similar way. And I just want to show you the effect that digital sharpening has on the compression or the size of the file so that you can understand how much more pressure that having a high setting or even a medium setting has on that compression system and how much further it pushes it. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to export as and this is Photoshop and as you can see this image, I've got it set to good. The setting here is completely irrelevant really uh, for the purposes of this. As you can see, it's telling me that the image will be 608.7 kilobytes in size. Okay, so far so good, let's cancel that. Now let's go up into the filters and let's go to the Smart Sharpen. Now what I'm gonna move the image up here a little bit. Now, this is the default image, or the image that we started with. And if I let go of the mouse, you can see the change that it's made, the, the enhancement it's made to the picture. I set this quite high, but this is actually not that dissimilar to what you'd find in a GoPro on the high setting, for example. I'm just going to reduce it just a little bit, um, even down to maybe two, 200%. This is more akin to a medium setting on the GoPro. It's not a precise thing but it's just illustrative so let's go to OK and I'm going to go to export again exactly the same compression settings and as you can see the estimated file size has jumped to 826.1 kilobytes so this is a really good illustration of why you want to have your camera set to the low sharpness setting if you want a bit more edge to the picture if you want a bit more sharpness is better to add that in editing. You've got much more control over things and if you use for example DaVinci Resolve and use its sharpening uh, plugin tool you'll be able to make your image sharp without giving any of the horrible edge sharpening artifacts that you get when you add it in the camera. 
So, you know, I hope this has helped. This is a very basic video. Um, it's, it's not a particularly visual one. It's just one that I've set up um, off the cuff. Um, but I hope that shows you one of the main reasons why a lot of people, especially even the GoPro team, recommend using the low sharpness settings on the GoPro cameras. It's because you've got more control of it in post and it also stresses the codec far less. As you can see from those file sizes, you, could, you can make your own minds up as to, to how much um, extra pressure that adds to the compression system within the GoPro camera. So I hope that's helped and I'll leave it there.